No guys, I'm not crazy. I'm just testing the action mode on the iPhone 14 Pro. Let's go inside. Yeah guys, in today's video we are talking about the action mode. That right up front you have to know that is only available to the iPhone 14 lineup. So in this video I want to condense all the things that I've learned after my testing. To give you my opinion on when you should use and when you should not use it. And at the end I answer the big question. Is this action mode a replacement for an action camera? So guys, first of all let me walk in in the right setting so I can can show you how to enable this mode. You have to know that there is no action mode dedicated like for example the cinematic mode but you can enable and disable the action mode on the top of the regular video and you know when this mode is enabled because you see that the running icon is turned yellow but you'll see that enabling this mode the frame will have a crop depending on the setting that you will choose it. In fact let me show you the setting that you should use it. Okay you have to open the settings camera app and scroll down to camera and then in the record video tab you have to click on it and if you scroll down a little bit you can see that there is a tab called action mode lower light and I suggest you that you will enable that. Why? Because if you don't enable the crop of the sensor will be higher and in a darker scene the image will be darker. So you can see in this free example that there are three different crop on this action mode. The first one is the disabled, the second one is the lower light on and the third one is the lower light off. So to minimize the drop in quality and a little bit of loss in the framing I suggest you that you enable the lower light also during daytime because I don't think that the stabilization during the lower light is much better compared to disabling this option. So let's talk about the pros because it's true that with this action mode Mode, the footage will be less shaky but this is only true only if the shake of the footage is really shaky for example if you are walking the difference between a regular video and the actual mode will be not so apparent but if you want to running or chasing someone in that case the footage from the actual mode will be smoother or another example that I can give you is when you are not using the 0.5x so the wider lens but a tighter lens for example a 2x or even a 3x. In that case you will see that with the action mode the footage will be less shaky. And another advantage that is not so obvious is that with the action mode the shutter speed of the video will be blocked at 1 over 200 and this is really important because when you're shooting in low light and you have a shutter below 1 over 200 you can see that there is a little bit of blur on the subject and that blur can be stabilized in post while if you are using the action mode and so the shutter speed is blocked over 1 over 200 you can further stabilize and crop the footage and I know that the value is around 1 over 200 because I did a test with my action camera in manual mode and I saw that when the camera was set on 1 over 50 seconds the footage was shakier or there is this blur effect basically but when the camera was set to 1 over 200 seconds there is no blur but now guys let's talk about the cons of this mode because it's far to be perfect the biggest cons that I can give to the action mode is that in order to use it you will have a crop on the field of view that as I've shown you is more or less depending on the settings that you will use it and then related to this when you're using the action mode you will have a drop in resolution and also in the image quality because the phone in order to do that have to create create a crop on the sensor that is not good to keep the image quality high and then especially if you keep the lower light setting off when you're using the action mode the footage will be much darker compared to the regular video so make sure that you enable the lower light setting and then the other cons that I can share with you is that you can use the action mode in the cinematic mode but also in the slow motion mode so I hope that we will be able to do it in the future after 
this let's talk about the scenarios when you should use it first of all I think that if retaining the 4k image quality or the highest image quality is not your priority you can definitely use the action mode then if you need to create a shot while you are running I can suggest you that you are using the action mode or in general on all the other shakier activity that you need to film and then I think that if you don't know how to walk smoothly but it's not so hard but if you don't know I suggest you that you use the action mode in all the lower light scenarios like for example in a church or or during night because as I told you when you are activating this mode the shutter speed will be blocked around 1 over 200 and if the footage aren't smoother right out from the camera you can further stabilize in post the footage and then for last I think that this is an helpful mode to use when you need to create an image with not the ultra wide lens but with all the other tight lenses because again you will have an enhanced stabilization but now let's switch to the scenarios when you should not use this mode first of all I think that if 4k or the highest image quality is your priority you should not use this mode because as I told you the image quality will be lower then another case is when you need the wider field of view possible because as I told you when you enable in the action mode there is a crop on the image then I don't think that if you need to create a shot when you are walking you should not use this mode because I think that the stabilization in the iPhone is already good enough and for last if you know how to walk smoothly or if you know how to do the ninja walk I think that you should not use this mode because you can absorb most of the vibration with your body so guys let's conclude this video answering to the question if this mode is a replacement for an action camera unfortunately I don't think so and the reason are true the weight first of all but also the size of the phone compared to an action camera but also the drop in resolution because it's true that uh, on the action mode we can only shoot at 2.8k compared to for example the action 3 or the action 2 at 4k but uh, if you are using for example a GoPro you can shoot uh, at 5.3k so the difference in resolution is quite noticeable also for the cost because uh, if you have uh, an iPhone 14 Pro is a phone of $1000 compared to an action camera that is around 500 but if you are only talking about the level of stabilization or the quality of the stabilization I think that with the action mode the difference between an action camera and an iPhone is really closer but I think that by far the real advantage of using an iPhone instead of an action camera is the lens choices because with an action camera you are stuck with the wide angle lens while with the phone you know that you can use not only the ultra wide angle lens but also the one x or all the other tighter lens but guys regarding the camera that you want to use the biggest suggestion that i can give you is to learn how to work smoothly because for example you can see in these darker scenes that since i was working smoothly the result is not so shaky so doing that i think that you can also avoid to use the action mode when you're shooting in darker conditions and guys if you are shooting not only videos but also photos with your iPhone I've created a pack of presets specifically made for iPhone and if you want to know more you can find more information in the description below that's it guys for this video don't forget to check out also the video on the 48 megapixel feature that is uh, another feature exclusively only on the iPhone 14 and don't forget to follow me also on Instagram to see behind the scenes content and like this video and subscribe to this channel if you don't want to miss other content like this I'll see you in the next one bye Ooh, 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 ooh.